Everybody drip, drip, everybody drip, slipping on my drip. Got swag and we drip. Got swag and we drip. Welcome back, Spike Timmy, your boy, the Spikeologist, back again with another Swag You Movie Review, and today we are doing. Venom, Let There Be Carnage. Now this movie was a lot of fun. I had a good time in the theater with this film. It had, the action was on point, the pacing was great, and the acting was done very well throughout, across the board really, throughout this film. Now, it takes what everything, everything great about the first film and just doubles down on it. And then anything that was wrong with it, they kind of, they tried to steer the ship right in this one. And I think they did an excellent job with this. Carnage was the perfect villain choice for this film and I think Woody Harrelson did an amazing job as Carnage and as Cletus Cassidy. I know a lot of people didn't like the um there was a lot of reviews that I've seen that people didn't necessarily like Cletus Cassidy's portrayal. Not like not necessarily from the reviews I've seen but from the reviewers talking about his friends or whatever that he was talking to so they didn't like it. But as far as I've seen from my audience and from what I people I've been talking to about the movie, they seem to have dug it. And for me, he's how I would think he acts in the comic books, in my opinion. But all in all, I think Woody Harrison did a great job as Cletus. He was creepy. He was cringy with his 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 dialogue, which would make sense for a serial killer. It's not all up there, so he made, he sounds philo 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 philosophical 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 <laughs> but he's probably not <laughs> and do not take a drinking game to this movie try to use the word carnage because that move that man loves to say that word i promise you that but <laughs> he does bring the carnage when carnage comes out boy because when carnage gets introduced it is rap city the basement for anybody near that man and he was beast i love the action like i said the action was on point every time we got to see Carnage or Venom. It was great. And to see the one thing they did double down on is now, since we know who Venom is, we know where Venom is, we've seen Venom, we get to see Venom a lot in this film. And I really do like that. But we do also get to see Eddie a lot in this film. So they don't take away from each other, even though they are a symbiotic being. That's the whole thing this movie is based around is relationships and them trying to work on Eddie and Venom trying to work on work, living together, working together, being symbiotic together. You know what I'm saying? And it's all about the relationships and including for Cletus Cassidy and Shriek played by the beautiful Naomi Harris. And she did an excellent job in her role. And it was interesting to see her interactions with Cletus Cassidy and also Carnage. It was very interesting to see those dynamics throughout the film, but I really enjoyed their dynamic surprise player who was pretty cool and interesting in his own right and you might want to keep an eye out for is the cop in the film or the deputy or the sheriff i think he was just a cop though from what i remember yeah he's over eddie and works with eddie to his chagrin but <laughs> i think he was cool keep an eye out on him he has a more of a cooler role than I expected. But the star of the film definitely had to be go to Tom Hardy, but Tom Hardy is also Venom because he voices Venom. And then I came to find out later on today that Carnage was also voiced by Woody Harrelson. So they did that again. So that was really dope. But the banter between Venom and Tom Hardy was excellent. This really just shows how really how good of an actor Eddie I mean, not Eddie, Tom Hardy is at being Eddie and Venom. He's basically fully embraced being the character and he's showing off in the role. And I mean, you, I know he's more invested because he went from an executive producer to a producer for this film. So he's more like your Ryan Reynolds and Deadpool, how he loves the character. I think Eddie Brock loves this character and he, I mean, Eddie Brock, Tom Hardy. See, he's so good at being Eddie. I keep calling him Eddie, but Tom Hardy loves this character so much. He loves to be this character in his shows throughout the film. I really, I really had a good time, but full disclaimer, if you did not like the first film because you didn't like how Venom was portrayed or Venom acted, then you might not like this film because it just doubles down. Like I said, it doubles down on what was great about that first film for people 
and it doubles down on the venom personality traits and um and what he how he is in the first one is just doubled down and brought even to higher height in this film so if you did not like that first one you may not like this second one but that's not necessarily true because right now it's got a fresh on rotten tomatoes so you may actually enjoy yourself so i would still say give it a shot especially especially for the mid credit scene because there is a mid credit scene and that thing is important no matter how you felt about the first one i say see this one specifically for the mid credit scene because oh my goodness it is a must see and be careful on this on youtube right now because people are spoiling the shit out of this mid credit scene so just be aware not to be looking too not to be looking too crazy i know you found this it's a non-spoiler review so you're good to go but don't get spoiled go see it because it's so worth seeing i mean people were clapping at the end of this film and at the end of that mid credit scene it was clapping even harder and people were like standing up cheering at this mid credit scene so i'm excited for the future ahead because of that so make sure you stay for that there's no after credit scene but there is a mid credit scene so after the the fancy credits with the you know the the artwork boom credit mid credit scene see that thing you don't have to stay after credits if you don't want to but you can so you can digest get your mind right and then get on out there but my on that note my swag you grade for venom let there be carnage would have to be a solid a a solid a i would give it an a plus but i mean with the mid credit scene it is an a plus and uh, technically that's still part of the movie or the mid credit scene so i mean i could give it an a plus but it's definitely a solid a for sure a lot of great action a lot of great stuff from the first film i had a good time with it i really enjoyed myself I plan on seeing it again. But let me know how you feel about Venom. Let there be carnage in the comment section below. That's the most important. Also, if you're new here and you're trying to join the swag team, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below or hit it right here on the possible bonus side. Also, if you want to be the first of the swag team and see a video on the possible bonus channel, make sure you hit that notification bell. It'll pop right up when you join the swag team. So you hit that subscribe button. Then that bell will pop up. You click that. Ding. Then you never miss a video of possible bonus channel. Whether it's on your computer, cell phone, tablet, whatever. So make sure you do that so you don't miss on any of the swag when it drops. But yes. Let me know how you feel about Venom. Let there be carnage in the comment section below. Are you excited to see it now that you've seen my review? I really hope you are because I think this thing is worth seeing. Even if you did not like the first one, you still might have a good time with it. And that mid credit scene is worth the price of admission anyway. You know what I'm talking about? So make sure you go see this thing and let me know in the comment section below how you felt about it. There will be a spoiler review because I have to talk about that big credit scene at some point. I really do. And if you like this review, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. It helps with the channel. But if you didn't like it, I ain't tripping. Look at Jordan. I ain't pivoting into the next video. I love y'all 3000. I'll holla. Peace.